Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and there is a lot of things happening in the foreign exchange market today, mainly due to the complete collapse of the US dollar index. It's depreciating a lot and it will most likely go to significantly lower levels in the next coming days. And that will, of course, affect most of these currency pairs significantly, as you can see in this candlestick here. So this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, uh, October 22nd, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to click the subscribe button down here in the corner, click the bell button and the like button. And that really helps us uh, in this channel. And it will, and as it grows, we'll add more and more content. So we'll start out by this uh, massive gain today in the uh, Great British Pound, the US dollar. And you can see we're up 1.3% in the US and uh, in the sterling in the US dollar. At this point, we um, if this holds and we don't have a massive pullback, then we are most likely going to see um, this trend continue upwards. We are running into a little bit of resistance here and we can put the line up here. We can see that this historically was an uh, area of resistance, but if the US dollar continues to depreciate, um, and mostly the main reason for that is the expectation of the stimulus bill, uh, then this market will go higher. But if the US dollar turns around, then this could basically collapse completely to the downside and back towards the 100 moving average. So just keep that in mind. There are a lot of things um, going against the sterling, for example, Corona, virus, the US, you know, British economy, Brexit, and so on and so on. So it is favored to the downside. However, it has been extremely resilient for several, several months now, and basically it shouldn't be so. But as long as we have a weak US dollar, then this market will go higher. Technical indicators have all changed to the upside. We are not overbought at this point. That means that we can go significantly higher. MACD has turned around. CCI is looking really positive. The same goes for the stochastic, but the Bollinger Band, we are way past the upper part of the Bollinger Band. So do expect this market at the end of the day to at least pull back a little bit. No interest in basically selling at the moment as long as the US dollar index is depreciating. You can also see that in the in my other videos. Yes, and now it basically happened what I did expect to happen, which I have been calling for for several uh, basically weeks now, that we have a complete breakdown of the US dollar yen um, to the downside towards this trend line. And at this point, we are most likely going all the way towards uh, 103.7, no, not seven, 103.576, uh, thereabout. Uh, if we break this trend line, then of course we'll go much lower. When we were in the, in the midst of the coronavirus in, the, in, in March, we went all the way down to 101. But uh, things have to change significantly. At the moment, we are trading, uh, we have been trading for several months now, all the way back to April within this channel. And uh, there's no uh, indication that that is not going to be the case. So we are going to break down towards the, this trend line here and then pull back. And uh, that will most likely coincide with the uh, appreciation of the US dollar index. So no interest in basically buying this. We are going down all the way to this trend line before we go up. Break this trend line, we're going significantly lower. Of course, all the technical indicators are very bearish at this point. Just have in mind, we are oversold in the RSI, but this is a market that usually gets, <coughs> sorry, significantly oversold. We can see here, we went all the way down to 19 before turning around. So there is a lot of room to the downside. If we look at Euro US dollar, we have broken above these uh, resistant area here. And at this point we are probably going to go a little bit higher. Of course, as long as the US dollar is uh, appreciating, then this market will go lower. And this is a really, very really encouraging sign. 
Furthermore, the RSI is only at 58. There is a lot of room to the upside in this market, and this is a very encouraging uh, sign. We will most likely run into resistance here at 11.95, and then after that, we'll find significant resistance at no, what happened there? At 12.00. 12 but there's a long way, several several pips uh, up to the to the upside at this point. Um, we look at the other technical indicators; they are all looking very promising. And uh, and yes, we may have a little pullback, but at this point, I do believe we'll go all the way up here. Uh, pullback from here, we'll find that the 50 moving average will be a support. So if you look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have rallied up towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average, and we have found resistance here. However, as long as the uh, US dollar is appreciating, then we will uh, go higher in this market. However, we have a lot of, all the moving average above here will act as resistant, especially the 50 moving average at, at this point, 0 0.72. Underneath, we have the 150 moving average at 0 0.69, and that of course will be significant support. So at the moment, we're trading in between these uh, 50 and the 150 moving average, the technical indicators are all indicating that we are going significantly higher in this market. MACD is turning around, same goes with the RSI, uh, the CCI and the uh, Stochastic and also the Bollinger Band. There's a lot of room to the upside. US dollar, Canadian dollar, we rallied, um, we have rallied up towards this resistant area that I wrote yesterday. Um, I don't believe that we are going significantly higher. If we go break this, then we'll go towards the 50 moving average and then fall again. Um, the, the technical indicators are all looking very uh, bearish for this market at, the, at this point. And uh, it is just a matter of time before we see something similar uh, as the US dollar yen that will break towards uh, this lower trend line. No interest basically buying this. And this is basically a market that is at some point and in the coming days, gonna go break down significantly lower. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Thank you and good luck.